Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Natasha Brown. Tonight, we are learning what led to the stabbing. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live at Temple University Hospital, where those teens were taken today. Matt. Natasha and Yuki, this is truly terrifying. One of those teenage stabbing victims is fighting for his life at Temple University Hospital. His classmate tells us that he and another boy were trying to break up a fight when a man, someone's dad, tried to took out a knife and stabbed them, leaving behind a bloody scene. And all of a sudden there was a big commotion. This man was arriving to work in North Philly when he saw two teenage boys get stabbed just before 7.15 this morning, less than a block from Temple University Hospital. He got stabbed, stumped, and his buddies brought him over to the corner. There was a police officer sitting over here at the corner uh, with traffic, came over, picked him up, and took him to the hospital. Police are still trying to figure out exactly what happened and are going over security video, but several Randolph Tech students say the two boys, ages 16 and 15, tried breaking up a fight between two girls on their way to school. That's when the father of one of those girls took out a knife and stabbed the boys. The man thought that the boys was hitting on the girls that hit his daughter, so he was trying to protect, he didn't know, but the boys was really trying Get them to stop fighting. I just want to see people like stop all the violence. From it's very unfortunate, very terrible um, event to have taken place as students are on their way to school. You should you should be able to safely get to school and get home. And if that 15 year old stabbing victim is now home recovering, but the 16 year old is in critical condition here at Temple University Hospital. I talked to his mom. She says she's going to stand by his side until he fully recovers. Meantime, police tell us they're still searching for a suspect and that knife. Reporting live in North Philly, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.